At 14,000 feet, majestic Mount Rainier towers over everything it surrounds. Chugging through the foothills of this impressive natural wonder is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of man. The workhorse steam locomotives of the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad. Located in LB, Washington, about 70 miles south of Seattle on the main route into the National Park, the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad cuts a pretty picture when the beauty of nature is the backdrop for the power of steam. The railroad was started up in the 1980s by Tom Murray, who has logging in his bloodline and steam in his heart. Well, uh, I grew up in, going up in the woods with my dad, who was a, a logger, and uh, we had steam railroads, steam locomotives. And when I worked in the woods uh, after World War II, why everything was still pretty much steam. And as they started disappearing, I thought it would be a, just a shame if, if they all disappeared, went into the scrap heap, and that someone should kind of keep track of them and, uh, and try to preserve some of them. The one and a half hour, 14 mile round trip is an excursion into yesteryear. You travel on trains pulled by meticulously maintained antiques. We do have the the only collection of the three major geared logging locomotive uh, designs that were built in the United States that are operable. Uh, those are the Shea, the Heisler, and the Climax. Steam is not just a hobby or a business for Tom Murray. It's a love. Even in his backyard, he has a scaled down version of an old steam logging railroad. I think the best way to start though is why do we have geared locomotives in the woods? And there are really three reasons. One, of course, is the gearing. You know, when you go up a hill, you put your car in low gear. Well, a, a, a geared locomotive is always in low gear, although they did. The Climax actually built locomotives that had gear shifts in it. Uh, secondly, uh, the rod, the engines that most people remember rod, were rod engines, and they had a long series of driving wheels with a long rod that connected every wheel. Well, this made it very difficult to take very sharp corners or very rough track, so which logging railroads were uh, very rough uh, in design and, and very sharp corners, so the, the uh, geared locomotive could get over track that a rod engine couldn't. And then the third, uh, and quite important, uh, deep part of a geared engine's makeup is the fact that all of the wheels are powered. Well, each, each designer uh, came up with their own version of what would be the best way to transfer power from the steam engines to the drive wheels using gears and drive shafts. The whole idea of gearing and drive shafting is that the trucks would be able to swivel and move quite a bit as compared to a stiff rod locomotive. Uh, the gearing was designed to put the locomotives into low gear all the time top speed of these locomotives varies from about 12 to 18 miles an hour, the Shea being the slowest and the Heisler with a slightly higher gear ratio and larger drive wheels being the fastest. The passion behind the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad is clearly evident. It's a mandatory stop for those who admire the history of steam and the beauty of nature. <laughs> 